Welcome again to today's question. We have that 16 raised to the power 6 minus 16 raised to the power 5 is equal to what? So let's simplify this and get to the answer without using a calculator. Okay, so solution. Right, so we have 16 raised to the power 6 minus 16 raised to the power 5 is equal to what? Now, let's rewrite 16 raised to the power 6. Same thing as 16 raised to the power 5 plus 1 minus 16 raised to the power 5. Okay, now we know that a raised to the power m plus n is a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. Okay, we know this formula. So let's apply that. So 16 raised to the power 5 plus 1 becomes 16 raised to, um, 16 raised to the power 5 times 16 raised to the power 1 minus 16 raised to the power 5. Now we have a common factor, 16 raised to the power 5. So let's factorize. So we have 16 raised to the power 5 into 16 raised to the power 1 minus 1. So this is the same thing as 16 raised to the power 5 into 16 minus 1. And we have 16 raised to the power 5 um, into 15. Okay? So this is 16 raised to the power 5 times 15. Right, let's rewrite 16. 16 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 4. So let's apply that. So now we have 2 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 5 times 15. If we multiply, because we know that a raised to the power m times n raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power mn. Okay, applying that rule, we know that 2 raised to the power 4 bracket 5 becomes 2 raised to the power 5 times 4 is 20 times 15. Okay. So, applying the same rule, 20, 2 raised to the power 20, we can also rewrite as 2 raised to the power 10, raised to the power 2, times 15, okay? Now, 2 raised to the power 10 is 2 times 2 times 2 in 10 places, which is 10, 24, right? So, let's plug that back into the equation. So this becomes 1024 squared times 15. Okay, so now 1024 squared is the same thing as 1024 times 1024 and now times 15. Now, so how do we break this down and continue solving to the end without using a calculator? Okay, this is these are big numbers. So we can rewrite 1024 as a thousand, right, plus twenty four, one thousand plus twenty four, and then times fifteen. If you're really enjoying this step by step breakdown, just take one second to subscribe to this channel because we drop videos like this um, on a daily basis that solve math questions step by step and help you understand it better. Okay, just um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it as well. Okay, so let's continue. So now this becomes, um, let's just multiply out. A thousand times thousand becomes a million. So we have three zero, uh, six zeros plus thousand times 24 will give us 24,000 plus another 24,000 plus 24 times 24 will give us what? 4, 4 is 16, 8, 9, 8, 4, 6, 9 times 8 is 17, 576. Okay, so that is 576 plus 576. Everything times 15. Okay, let's just deal with one side first. So let's add everything up. So we have um, a million plus. 48,000 plus 576, 15, right? So now we have 1 million plus 48,000 plus 576 will become 48,000, 
576 and then times 15. So if we break up 15, we can break up 15 to become 10 plus 5, right? So this becomes million plus 48576 10 plus 5. Okay, so let's multiply through. A million times 10 will give us 10 million. 10 million. A uh, million times 5 will give us 5 million. Plus 48, 5, 7, 6 times 10 will give us 48, 5, 7, 6, 0. Okay, then plus... 48576 times 5. Let's see. 6 times 5 will give us 30. Carry 3. Um, 7 times 5 is 35. 38. Carry 3. 5 times 5 is 25. 28. 2. 5 times 6 is 40. 42. Carry 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 24. Okay, so we have 242880. 242880. Okay. 242880. Right. So what do we do next? 10 million plus 5 million will give us 15 million. Okay. Plus, if we add up 485760 plus 242880, we get, because um, they are both um, six digits, so we have zero. Eight plus six will give us, give us 14. Carry one. Um, seven plus eight, 15, 16. Carry one. Um, five plus two is seven, eight. Um, eight plus four is 12. Carry one, four plus two is six plus one, seven. So we have seven hundred and twenty eight thousand six hundred and forty. So now, if we add up what we have here, um, on the fifteen million is just fifteen million. So six zeros. So this is easy to add up. Now we have fifteen, seven, two, eight, six, four, zero. Okay. And now this is our final answer without using a calculator. So if you enjoyed the solution of this question, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, click the like button, share this video as well. Um, thank you for watching today and I'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.